Nick, where have you been? I've been out. I have found a new girlfriend. I have waited so long for this. We have suffered alone, but now... He has given Julia many chances, but she has made his life miserable. What? You've found someone new? What have I done to make you leave me? I have become a very nice girlfriend. I have made you dinner at least once this month. <laughs> You've made dinner? Well, I've ordered pizza. Yes, you've ordered pizza exactly once. I've cooked for you every night. I've done the shopping, I've done the cleaning, I've done everything for you. And now I have had enough. I have never had a girlfriend as lazy as you. Oh dear! I have driven Nick into the arms of another woman. In this video, we show you the use of the present perfect tense. Don't be frightened by that. It just means that we use have or has with the past participle of a verb. Sometimes the past participle is the same as the past tense. Like in, I have waited so long. We can say, I waited. We have suffered. I suffered. I have made you dinner. Or we can say, I made. See how they're the same? At other times, the past participle may be different than the past tense. And something you just have to memorize. Like, I have been. He has given, I have become, I have driven, or I have done everything. There are lists of these verbs I can give you, so come see me. One more thing. Maybe you have noticed that we often use contractions like I've for I have, you've for you have, he's or she's, for he has and she has. But for more on that, you can look up our videos on contractions. For now, I hope this has made English more simple.